My name is Melvin Douglas. I've got a secret. Do you think you can guess what it is? Arid Cream Deodorant, the deodorant that is 53% more effective in keeping underarms dry and odorless, presents... I've Got a Secret, starring Gary Moore. Thank you. Thank you very much and good evening, friends. That mustache looks so good on Melvin Douglas, I thought it might do something for me. I don't know. Huh? Mind if I take a... Woo! Looks like I swallowed a squirrel and left the tail hanging out, doesn't it? <laughs> Anyhow, here we go, my friends, with another session of I've Got a Secret, the new game that brings out the awful truth about some very nice people just for fun. Tonight we have some information about the private lives of some very interesting folk, information which they're going to try to keep secret from our panel. And now I would like very much for you to meet our panel. First, the bright young television personality, Mr. Bill Cullen. Then the lovely motion picture and television actress, Miss Jane Meadows. And one of the truly fine comedy actors of America, Mr. Eddie Bracken, and our bright star of movies and television, Miss Nina Fosh. That is our panel. <laughs> now, in just a moment, I'm going to introduce you to a lady with tonight's first... Well, now we're all set to play I've Got a Secret. How about you, panel? Are you ready and George, yes, able? Right. All right, then let's welcome our first contestant to I've Got a Secret. Will you come in, please? Hello. <laughs> Will you tell our panel, please, what your name is and where you're from? Mary Perito from the Bronx. All right. Now, you have a secret for our panel to uncover. Is that right, Mrs. That's Perito? Right. All right. Now, here's how we play the game. You know, each panelist will get two questioning periods of 15 seconds each. But the clock will only time the actual questions. That is to say, we take time out for audience reaction or for discussion if necessary. And when a panelist's time is up, you will hear this miserable sound. And I will pay our guest $10 and turn the game over to the next questioner. Twice around the panel for a total loss of $80, and the game is over. Now then, Mrs. Perito, if you will whisper your secret to me, the folks out there would like to know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't hear it, but I heard it. I think it's real sad. All right. I will tell you, a panel, that to help classify this secret, I will tell you it concerns something that she bought. Now, we'll start our questioning with Mr. Bill Cullen. Uh, is this something that's useful? Yes. Is it usable by both men and by women? Yes. If you use it properly, are you apt to get some sort of tangible result? Uh -huh. <laughs> is there, are there persons who don't use these things? Yes. In other words, could I get along without this very well? Yes. Uh, I'm afraid that in Mr. Cullen's case, we'll have to say no, Mrs. Well, Perito. No, I have... Don't let's give anything away. Just let's say no. I couldn't get along without it. No. It's a luxury product of... Uh, <laughs> is it a luxury product of some kind? A luxury? <laughs> Mrs. Perito says no. If I had one of these and didn't use it properly or correctly, might it result in an accident? <laughs> well, say no to you on that, Mr. Cullen. There's $10 down, $70 to go. Miss Jane Meadows, please. Mrs. Perino, would I enjoy using one of these? Uh, I, I, I would assume so, Miss Meadows. Uh... I would. If I didn't want to buy one of these, would it be possible for me to rent one for an evening? <laughs> Could I hold this in my hand? Yes. Is it something that I might use in my home? Yes. Would I keep it in a bureau drawer? Uh-huh. Yes, I would. You would. You wouldn't have to, but you could. But I could. If I were to use this regularly, would it improve my appearance in any way? <laughs> there is $20 down and $60 to go. Mr. Eddie Bracken, please. Uh, would it help us to know uh, what this thing is that you bought... Uh, uh, would it help us know what it's made of? Yes, I guess so. Yes. Well, would it be made of a, a, a hard material like a, a steel or... A... No. Would it be made of a, a cloth material? No. Pulp? Paper? Paper? Yes. Paper, yes. Made of paper? Yes. Uh, 
And this is something you would, is it uh, laundry bags or things of that? <laughs> no. Uh, uh, is it a container? Is it what? A container. No. A container? No. No, it is not. $30 down and $50 to go, uh, although it has a certain holding power. Uh, Miss, uh, <laughs> Miss Nina Fosh, please. Uh, uh, this thing, would children want to use it? No. Children would definitely not use it? No. Does it require an education to use this thing? <laughs> Easy. Uh, would you use it in the morning, for instance? In... I mean, as you dress. Would it be part of something that you used as you dressed? No. no. During eating, would you use this? No. Thing? Well, you say it's made of paper. Is it made of paper solely? Is it, is it only paper? Yes. Has yes. it writing matter on it? Mm -hmm. Yes. So you... <laughs> Uh, you were going to say something there, Miss Fosh. What was it, please? So you read off of it in order to do this thing that you do with this. Uh, you have it's to. You should, you should, you should read, you should read it. It's recommended, especially the small print. Forty dollars. <laughs> Forty dollars down. Forty dollars to close the panels last time around, Mr. Bill Cullen. Uh, this is writing on paper. Is it a set of instructions to tell you how to do something? By any <laughs> no. no. Is it unusual for you to purchase this thing? Would it be unusual for a woman ordinarily to purchase this thing? Is it yes. something that's ordinarily purchased by the other, by a man? In yes. most cases. Yes. Is it a, uh, something very much like a hunting license or a... Uh, <laughs> is it a marriage license, in other words? Yes. <laughs> you have won forty dollars, Mrs. Perito. <laughs> Mrs. Perito, when she went to get her marriage license, her uh, husband to be found that he had left his money in the other suit. Mrs. Perito had to buy the license. Did you ever get the money? Did you ever pay it back? No, to? I never got the dollar. Well, that certainly gives you a certain amount of independence, anyhow, doesn't it? Here's forty dollars from the makers of Arrange. You can go buy twenty licenses. And thank, thank you very, you. very much. Good night, Mrs. Perito. <laughs>
Uh, money, for instance? Oh, no. No. But it is something in daily use. It is important for us so. to know this fact, what he makes. Uh, uh, does he make anything used in the house? Yes, it's used in yeah, the, in the yeah, house. Yeah. I, and it is not a public utility, that was said. Well, uh, is it something to do with food? No. It is not to do with anything sanitary? I mean, you know, uh, it is not to do with <laughs> clothing. Uh, we'd have to answer indirectly to both of those questions. <laughs> Thirty dollars, uh, an indirect yes. Thirty dollars down and fifty dollars to go, Mr. Bill Cullen. Is this a legal thing? Oh, definitely. <laughs> my husband. Well, yeah, I suppose that's... <laughs> if I find this out... It's not if... Mrs. Frank Costello, if that's who you mean. <laughs> if I find out what company your husband uh, uh, heads, would I... Is that your secret or does it go beyond that? Just well, that is not the young. secret, but uh, it would it be might. very valuable to you to know. Am I trying to find out something that her husband's uh, company does, as opposed to make whatever they make? Yes, I suppose you would say. Does it that have anything to do with does. this as in it, in it, uh, other than what they make? Oh, yes, yes. I got a crazy idea. Oh, uh, good. So I won't mention it. Um, <laughs> Uh, does this uh, have anything to do with, with something your husband does to further the sales of his product? Oh, sure. Well, this idea is not so crazy now. Uh, <laughs> is your husband connected with television as such? No. I mean, indirectly? Well, how indirectly? Well, how indirectly would you like him to be? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, like I am, sort of indirectly, sitting here wondering which way I'm going to go. <laughs> Do you mean in this capacity, is there a television connection? Is that what you mean? Now? Yes. We'll say yes. In the, in the, in the con context of the secret, there is, there is a uh, connection with television. Yeah. True. The thing I have, I, I certainly hope I've been nice to you. Well, you better have me. Oh, you lost your chance. You lost your chance. There's $40 down and $40 to go, but I think Jane Meadows knows. Ago, when Nina said something about clothing and we were warm, and she said something about sanitary, yeah. is your husband uh, one of our sponsors by any chance? <laughs> this is Mrs. Harry Hoyt, whose uh, husband is the president of Carter Products, who are the makers of Arid, among other things. Aren't you glad you were so nice to her? <laughs> Usually, I... <laughs> you, only won, safe. you only won $40 from your, from your company, but it's your husband's money. Take as okay. much as you want. <laughs> By the way, Mrs. Hoyt did want us... Uh, will you tell them what you want to do with the money, Mrs. Hoyt? I'm giving it for cancer research. Good deal. Thank you so much. Now it is time to have our panel go to work on tonight's special guest. Ladies and gentlemen, the distinguished American actor of motion pictures and television, Mr. Melvin Douglas. <laughs> now then, Mr. Douglas, we will have our panel start digging for your secret in a matter of moments. All right, now, panel, let's see how quickly we can uncover the secret being held by Melvin Douglas. We'll play the game as before, except that the money in this case will go to Mr. Douglas's favorite charity. Now, Mr. Douglas, if you'll tell me your secret, the folks out there would like to know it, too. <laughs> All right, I'll tell you what. We will uh, tell you only that this is an experience that Mr. Douglas has had, and because Bill Cullen had such bad luck, by just missing out by the buzzer on the last question, we'll let you start this one, Bill. Gee, thanks, Gary. Sorry. <laughs> was this, uh, Melvin, uh, was this an accident, the experience you had? <laughs> no, I don't think it was accidental. Not as it was reported to me, anyway. Did it happen uh, when you were a child? No. <laughs> Did it happen before you, you got married? No, no, no. Did it happen on the stage or in a picture? No. Would you like this to happen again? Yeah, I wouldn't mind if it happened again. In order for it to happen, uh, in order to have this happen again, would it take a great deal of effort on your part? Not 
Not much effort on my part, no. <laughs> no effort? Mm. I think I'm off the uh, thing here. Uh, does this have anything to do with your mustache? <laughs> I don't see any connection with where I sit. <laughs> your father's mustache. <laughs> $10 down and $70 to go. <laughs> Miss Jane Meadows. Mr. Douglas, would it help us to know the place where this happened? Well, it might and it might not. Uh, what do you, uh, may I, may I uh, ask you, Miss Meadows, what you mean by place? Well, I mean, is there any one spot, like in uh, Niagara Falls, or just... Well, oh, geographically, no. Yes. No? Did it happen out of doors? <laughs> no, no, I don't think it happened out of doors. <laughs> is there any particular place in the house that it happened? Would that help to get to the secret? Well, I don't think it actually happened in the house, no. Did it happen in a building? Yes, it happened in a building. Was it a public building? Yes, yes. Was it a building where both men and women go? Yes. Did this happen to you alone? No. <laughs> was there one other person involved in the happening? Yes, there was more than myself involved in it. <laughs> There's $20 down, $60 to go, Mr. Eddie Bracken. Uh, to continue the line of thought, uh, does it happen with more people than just one? Or was it What's just the one? To that? I'd say yes. Huh? More yeah. people. Yes. Uh, would it help us to know? Connected with it, huh? That's right. Yes, mm -hmm. more than one person involved or connected. Mm -hmm. Would it help us to know what town this happened in? It would... I doubt it. Um, was it your wife? Was your wife around when this happened? No, she wasn't. Uh, this has nothing whatever to do with uh, your family. Just some. Was it embarrassing? Oh no! Good heavens! <laughs> Did it have anything to do with uh, your person at all? Well, in an indirect sort of way, it had to do with my person. <coughs> Thirty dollars down and fifty dollars to go, Miss Nina Fosh, please. I have to continue something that I think you said no to. It does, doesn't it have anything to do with acting at all? With acting? Yes, you were acting at the time this happened, or it was something uh, indirectly connected with acting? No, as a matter of fact, I wasn't acting. I was playing bridge at the time. <laughs> And somebody else did this to you. This yes, somebody happened. else did this to me. <laughs> Not one person? One person? Uh, well, one person really did it, but there was another <laughs> person. Did they confer on you something that made you happy? Yes, indeed. Uh, happy just for that moment, or are you still happy about it? Has I'm it still very happy about it. <laughs> $40 down and $40 to go. Panel, this is our last time around. One more questioning period for each of you. Bill Cullen? Who won the bridge game? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I was winning up to the point that I found this out. In other words, I'm going to have to phrase this back. In other words, you were playing bridge when this happened? I wasn't playing bridge when it happened. I was playing bridge when I learned about it. Then it only concerns you indirectly. Is that right? It happened to somebody else? Yes. Did it happen to somebody in your family? Yes. Uh, did it happen to uh, what side? Did it happen to someone who preceded you in your family? I mean, like your father or someone older than you? No. Someone no. younger? Someone younger. Uh, your uh, son? Do you have a son? Yes. This happened to your son? This happened to my son. There are smug smiles on the face of Mr. Bracken and Miss Posh. Did it happen to someone beside your son? Yes, it happened to someone beside my son. Your son and his wife? That's right. Don't blow the buzzer this time, please. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> blow it. <laughs> Fifty dollars down and thirty dollars to go, Miss Jane Meadows, please. Mr. Douglas, was this uh, news by any chance that you received? Um, did it happen to do with grandchildren? Yes, it did. It did. <laughs> <laughs> Not grandchildren, grandchild. A grandchild. <laughs> grandchild. His secret is that just five weeks ago, he became a grandfather. Five weeks ago, it was his son's child and a beautiful baby girl. Oh, look up. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mike. <laughs> it's kind of hard to get an actor to admit that he's a granddad, you know? It's a good test of a guy's character. Okay, now may we have our next contestant, please? Very good. Hello. 
What is your name, please? Mildred Dolan. Mildred Dolan, and where are you from? Whitestone. I hope it won't embarrass you when I say you're very pretty. Thank you. As I mean. <laughs> now then, panel, you just stand there and wait a minute because Miss Dolan is going to whisper her secret to me and then we'll share it with the folks out there. Well, then, panel, to help classify this secret, I will tell you that it concerns something that her father did, and I think we'll start the questioning with Eddie Brackett this time. Something that your father did? Mm -hmm. Would it uh, help us to know when your father did this? Might, yeah. Uh, it happened during the Civil War? <laughs> no. Uh, did it happen when uh, uh, you were younger than you are now? No. Uh, it just oh, happened. she was much younger uh, oh, than yeah. she is now. Much younger than she is now. Were you born when this happened? No. Uh, did this happen in his youth? Yes. Uh, as a baby? No. Was it... There's $10 down and $70 to go. Miss Nina Fosh, please. Uh, 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 was your father alone when this happened? No. There was someone else with him? Yes. Uh, was it a relation of yours? No. It wasn't. Was it someone who later became a relation of yours? No. No. Uh, did a large group of people, were a large group of people associated with this? Mm. Indirectly, yes. In other words, was it an honor or a title that was given to your... No. It wasn't. <laughs> was it a happy thing? The audience was happy about it. Yes, I, I, I would have found it happy, I'm sure. Does it do anything for your life presently? No. It doesn't change. <laughs> Just that got her on I've Got a Secret. That's all it's done for her so far. <laughs> did, did he uh, 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 get anything? I mean, uh, was he given anything? No. Now, there's $20 down and $60 to go, Mr. Bill Cullen, please. I think I have it. Her father was playing bridge with Melvin Douglas. When he was <laughs> no. <laughs> this, uh, th does your father's profession or the way your father makes his livelihood have anything to do with his secret? No. Well, that does it. Does your father's hobby have anything to do with it? No. Is this something your father is very proud of? Your family is proud yes. of? Uh, does it have to do with helping people in any way? Did your father help anybody? No. Did he help anybody? He help himself? <laughs> Only that it was a pleasant experience. Panel, I'm sorry, our time is up. Eddie Bracken, you are going to be delighted to hear this. This young lady's secret is, by the way, we are forfeiting our course complete $80 because our she can't be my daughter. I know. <laughs> no, but she did go to Our Lady of Mount Carmel Grammar School with you, and her father is George Dolan, who you haven't seen oh, in how long, boy. and here is George Dolan right now. The show well, and my chop up. to look like that. That's yeah. All. Uh -huh. Well, that's all the time that we have for our guests and their secrets tonight, my friends. In just a moment, I will tell you about the famous celebrity who will be our guest next week. But first, here is a message of interest to you. Now, the next week at the same time, my friends, our panel will do their best to discover the secret which is being kept by Miss Elsa Maxwell. There will be other interesting people here too to challenge our experts. Until that time, may I say good night to our panel, Mr. Bill Cullen. Miss Jane Meadows, Mr. Eddie Bracken, and Miss Nina Fosh. Until we all meet here next week at the same time, then this would be Gary Moore saying bye bye for all of us. Be very kind to each other, will you? And goodbye out there. You are about to enter the Password Form. Alan Ludden is your guide to two hours of password fun. It all starts next on Game Show Network. You by Prom Home Permanent and White Gray Lotion Shampoo.